is Channel 4, now part three of the National Theatre's award-winning production of The Mysteries. Good evening. Good evening. On behalf of Bill Bryden and the company, welcome to the Cottesloe at the National Theatre. This is The Mysteries. This is Doomsday. My father me from bliss has sent To earth for mankind's sake Adam's miss for to amend My death needs must I take I dwelled there thirty years and two Till hither hauled and hung on high In anger, pine and mickle war On cross this day to die Therefore to hell then will I fare To claim back what is mine Adam, Eve, and others there, they shall no longer dwell in pine. A light I will them have, to know I will come soon. My body shall abide in grave, till all this deed be done.
my brethren, hearken to me here. This is the first hope we have had in 4,600 year. This glorious gleam to Mecca's glad, wherefore I hope our help is near. Now soon shall cease our sorrows sad. Adam, husband I love so. This gleam that brings us glee, tis the light so long ago in paradise slit thee and me. Adam, through thy sin, here were we put to dwell, this wicked place within. The name of it is hell. Adam, thou well understand, I am Isaiah, who prophesied that folk would in fell blackness bide, till a light should on them land. This light is all at Christ's command, and his behest hath it hither hide. The shining that has showered and divides the darkness drear, it is the hope that hath been ours this four thousand and six hundred year. This lamp that honours leads, for this thought makes me tend, never ending needs darkness and doom may end. that hell was made and I was put herein. Such sorrow never e'er I had, nor heard I such a din. Help me, Elzebub, and bind these boys. Such sorrow was never e'er heard in hell. Why roars thou sorry bold, thou roars? What is betide? Can thou watch hell? Ah. Heard you not this ugly noise? They that have lived in limbo long, they make great moaning of many joys, and must the great mirth them among. Mirth? Nay, that point is past. More hope of health shall they never have. They cry on Christ full fast, and say shall them save. <laughs> if he save them not, we shall, for they are sparred in special space. While I am prince and principal, shall he never pass out of this place. Say to Satan, our sire, and bid him bring also Lucifer, lovely of lion. Atonite potas principes. Open up, you princes of pain, seer. Et elevamini eternales. Your endless gates that you have here. Out, Harrow, out! What the devil is he that calls him king over us all? Tell me, what boys? Dare be so bold for dread to make on us afraid. It is that you the Jew your soul for to be dead the other day. Ah, this tale in time is told. This traitor traverses us all ways. He shall be here, full hard in old. Look that he pass not, are you pray? Pass? Nay, he will not win. I will he means to stay and shake him for to send all hell. Oh, ye hi away. Fie, fie, you fool. Then off he shall fail. <laughs> For all his fair, I him defy. I know his tricks from top to tail. He lives by gauds and guile I. Thereby he brought forth from our bale of late Lazar of Bethany, and therefore I give to Jews good counsel that they should gar him die. But I bid you be not abashed, but Bobby make you bound with two that ye entrust and ding that dastard down. Pin 
principes portas colite. Undo your gates, you princes of pride. Et entroibit rex gloriae. The king of bliss comes in this time. Oh, Paro! What harlot is he that says his kingdom shall be cried? Ye princes of hell, open your gates and let my folk forth go. The prince of peace shall enter thereat, whether ye will or no. What art thou that says us so? A king of bliss that hight Jesus. Yeah. Then faster read thou go, and meddle thou no more with us. Our gates will last, I trust. They seem so strong to me. But if our bar shall bust, they shall not bust for thee. This stead shall be no longer stock. Up and up, and let my people pass. And set him both sad and sour. To set him sore, that is soon said. Come thou thyself and set him sore. We may not bide his bitter braid. He would us mar though we were more. Fie, fie, faint hearts. Wherefore are ye afeard? Have ye no force to flit him through? Look ye in haste to get me geared. Myself shall to that gadling go. With all thy flaunt and fleer, and tell to me this tide what mischief met you here? I come to claim these kin of mine. Then would I say if I thee now tell. You had no power them to pine, but for their good, forced guests of hell, have they sojourned not as thine, but in thy ward as thou art well. Aye, but where the devil hast thou been these four thousand years or more? Now is the time certain! My father ordained before, when they should pass from pain and dwell in mirth forevermore. Thy father knew I well by sight. He worked as right is me to win, and Mary, methink thy mother hide. Therefore thou canst claim as kin, so who made thee so mickle of mine? Thou wicked fiend, let be thy din! <laughs> My father dwells in heaven on height, in bliss that shall never blin. I am his own son. His forward to fulfill. Together we are one. Or sunder when we will. Oh, God's son. <laughs> <laughs> then should thou be full glad. After no chattels need thou crave. But thou hast lived. Eh, like a lad. And in sorrow like a simple knave. That was for the heartily love I had. Unto men's soul it for to save. And for to make thee mazed and mad. And for to goad thee from my grave. My godhead I covered with Mary, mother mine, and ne'er was discovered by such as thee and thine. Yeah, Bellamy, thou must be smit! Yeah! <laughs> Michael, mine angel, make thee bound, and past yon fiend that he not flipped, and devil like a man be, go down! into thy cell, where thou shalt sit. <laughs> oh, Taro, help, my hound! Now wax thy woe out of my wit. I sink into hell's pit. <laughs> Adieu, you lord. Mickle is thy might. 
that makes thyself in this manier, us for to help as thou hast height, when both forfeit I and my fear. Here have we live, we are all like four thousand and six hundred year. Now I see this solemn sight, how thy mercy has made us clear. Blessed be thou, Lord of life. I'm Eve, Adam's wife. Thou hast suffered stroke and strife for works that we have wrought. Thy mild mercy has all forgiven. Death's dints on thee were driven. Thy bright blood hath thus bought. We thank this great goodness. He fetched us from this place. Make joy now, more or less. O oh Lord God, for his grace. Adam, and my friends in fear, from all your foes, come forth with me. Ye shall be set in solace seer, where ye shall ne'er a sorrow see. And Michael, mine angel clear, reserve these souls all unto thee, and lead them as I shall thee leer, to paradise with play and plenty. My grave go will I till, ready to rise upright, and there shall I fulfill all I before have height. Prices are down in your electricity board big shot sale. This Tricity cooker, save 20 pounds. This Philips fridge, save 10 pounds. This electro washing machine, save 15 pounds. There's lots more bargains at knockdown prices in the big shot sale at your electricity board now. Right, time to tell those two to stop. Never in a month of Sundays. Right, it's time to stop that rotten pop. When you can't hear yourself speak, then it's time to stop the beat. Or they'll never know it's time to eat. Never in a month of Sunday. When Bristol Browns is a thick and dull and white, that'll be Sunday lunch is really done. No one minds when you stop the beat. Oh, Bristol. Sunday with You magazine. A newspaper, not a snooze paper. Pickford's Travel are one of Britain's biggest travel agents. Easy does it. Whatever your travel needs, we'll carry them out. Careful, my husband's feeling fragile. So don't miss out on plunging holiday costs. No other travel agent can sell you a holiday cheaper than Pickford's Travel. Hold me tighter, young man. I'm not made of China, you know. Talk to the pick of the travel people. Pickford's travel. Oh, left hand down a bit. Do you want to make home maintenance and improvements really easy? 
With a weekly publication, Fix It, you'll be surprised how simple it is. In issue one, how a block of wood can save hours when laying vinyl, how to saw melamine without chipping it, and how to avoid costly mistakes when buying materials. Too naughty, mate. Got me piranha. It shows how you could unblock a toilet in 30 seconds, how few tools you really need, and which one is best for which job. Get Fix It and make it easy to maintain your home and its value. you for certain we shall keep him with might and main and may no traitor with no train steal him as fro such sort will i swear be slain and laid right low yes sir we're already bound we shall keep him to our renown or ilk aside now let us shit down with all our gear and soon we shall go crack his crown who so comes here Come here, nigh, since that I do watch this door. And at this door, so must I lie, and whoso comes here gets what for. <laughs> and I shall tend this door this side, ere there come here both Jack and Jill. And I shall take the door this side, and whoso comes here shall I kill. <laughs> Hark, Sir Pilot, and listen to me. I shall the tidings tell anew of one thing we must beware be, or else hereafter we might it rue. Thou wottest well how that Jay's you, he said to us in words full plain, he said that we should find it true, the third day he would rise again. If these disciples come certain and out of his grave steal him away, they will go preach and plainly say that he is risen the third day. Gentle sirs, ye did vouchsafe to go with me and seal the grave, that he might not rise out of the grave that is now dead. We grant. Well, let us now go. When it is sealed and washed also, then we be safe and without woe, and have of him no dread. Lo, here is wax, already dight. Set on your seal, and on full right. <laughs> Then he be sure, and now you plight, he shall not rise again. <laughs> On this corner my um, <clears throat> seal shall sit. With this wax I seal his pit. Now dare I lay, he may never flit out of his uh, grave certain. Here is more wax. Already low, all the corners, ye seal also, and with four locks, lock it also. Then let us gang our way. <laughs> let these knights abide thereby, and if these disciples come privily to steal away this dead body, to us they bring them without delay. On each corner now is set my seal. Now is my heart in wealth or will. Now may no sort of hell away not steal this body from under this stone. <laughs> now, Sir Bishop, I pray to thee. And Anne has also come with me. Even together, all oh, we three, homeward our way be gone. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi, Ed Dullard. My art fillers of sleep. Saint Mahound, this burying ground. Thou, Keith. No, I say the same. For any blame, I fall. Mahound's wealth, unto thy help, I call. I may be as lead. For any dread, I sleep. Mahound of night, this storm tonight, thou keep. Oh, my, oh my God, I begin to nod and sink. <laughs> Here I ask to go to task, a wink. Alas, to death would I be dight. Never in the world was there woeful a wight. My sorrow is all for that sight that I did see, how Christ my master most of might is dead from me. Alas, how stand I on my feet when I think of his wounds all wet. Jesus, that was of love so sweet and ne'er did ill, with bitter blows they did him beat and for no cause him kill. For no cause the Jews, each one that lovely Lord to death has done, and trespass he did never none in no kind stead. To whom now shall I make my moan, now he is dead? Now he is dead, my sisters dear, Wend we will in mild manner, with our ointments fair and clear that we brought, to anoint his wounds all sear, the Jews him wrought. Go we then, my sisters free, for so me longs his course to see. But what I never, how best may be, help have we none, and who shall e now of us three remove the stone? That we do not, though we were more, for it is huge and heavy also. Sisters. We there no farther go, nor make mourning. I see two sit where we wend to in white clothing. Morning, women in your thought. Here in this place, whom have ye saw? Jesus, that to death is brought. He is not here, the sooth to say. The place is void that he inlay. The sediments there see ye may that on him laid. He is risen and went his way, as he you said. Even as he said, so done has he. Through peerless power, he rose up free. He shall be found in Galilee, in flesh and bone. To his disciples, when now ye three, and make this known. My sisters, dear. Since it is so that he is risen, death us fro, as this angel did us show our Lord so free, hence from here will I never go before I him see. Come, let us wend away from here to Galilee, now Niles near. Not till I see that faithful fear, my Lord and leech. I say to you, my sisters dear, all this for preach. As we have seen, so we shall say. Mary, our sister, have good day. Now, very God, as well he may, man most of might. He wish your sisters well on your way and rule you right. Ah, alas, now naught hath any worth for me. My caitiff heart will break in three. When I think of his body free, how it was Built. Through feet and hands nailed was he, and with no guilt. I who loved that sweet lad so, that bided ilka braid and blow, and graven is in grit below, my bounteous boy. Unless we meet before I go, I'll ne'er know joy. 
Walked out, alas! What shall I say? Where is the course that here in lay? What ails you, man? Is he away that we should tent? Rise up and see! A room! Hooray! What devil is this ailed you to? <laughs> uh, there's a noise and crying all the below. Why, is he gone? <laughs> Alas, where is he that here in lay? Way, oh, devil, I've got you away! Alas, what shall we do this day that thus this warlock is went away? And truly, sirs, I dare well say he rose alone. As a pilot, which of this affray we shall make moan? Can no mourn and now be said? Well, there is no else, but we be dead. When that he stirred out of his stead, none could he ken. Well, that hard hap on my head amongst all men. For if the pilot once to quit, we were asleep when forth he flit. I tell you, sirs, we shall forfeit all life and limb. Then fake we tales, full ready fit to tell to him. That read a well, so might I go. I'd have sent there too, also. Then shall I say, a thousand foe we might and main came and took his course us fro and us near slain. Uh, methinks two thousand we shall claim. Three thousand four in Mound's name. Five, six, seven thousand fierce foe came. Eight, nine, ten. ten. Nay, less than fifteen does a shame. Twenty thousand men. <laughs> Nay, sir, I hold that not so good as say the sooth even as it stood, how that he rose in mane and mood and went his way. To Sir Pilot by my hound's blood, that dare I say. And wilt thou tell Sir Pilot until these two tales of tidings ill? In truth, I tell you, so I will. Straight, in a trice. And if Sir Pilot doth us kill, no man dies twice. When we then to Sir Pilot's hall, cumbered cowards he shall us call, and we abide both braid and brawl ere we are through. To Sir Pilot will I tell all, all truth. Cumbered cowards are ye call! Cumbered cowards are ye call! Have ye let him go for you? Yeah. There was none dare do but small when forth he fled. We must hope he had downed it before all, all days with dread. Thy fire upon your brag and boast that of men your might was most. In Ilka town and Ilka coast, as each man knows, now all your respect is lorn. An Ilka man may ye now scorn, and bid ye sit amongst the corn. Scare the crows! To say the best for so shall I, and bring profit to us all thereby. Your knights behoves them to deny how he did go, and turn these tidings now awry. So oh, no man know. Now, Sir Pilate, since it is so that he has risen, death us fro, command these knights to say, where'er they go, that he was ta'en by 20,000 of our foe, <laughs> and them near slain. Now hear us what thee shall say. To will command both night and day, 10,000 men, in which array came ye until with force of arms, bear him away against your will. This shall ye say in Ilka land, and there cometh also with this command a thousand pounds each in your hand as your reward, and friendship always. Understand? Shall I afford? Look, you say what we have kenned. Yes, sir, by my hound, me men. In Ilka country you so ascend, by night and day, where so we come, where so we win, thus shall we say. The blessing of the hound go with thee, by night and day. Thus shall the suit be bought and sold, and treason shall for truth be told. What wondrous love is this of my soul? Tell me. 
God, nor I thee pray. If thou bear aught, my Lord, away, say me the sooth. Say me not nay where that he lies, and I shall remove him, if I may, in some kind wise. Woman, why weep'st thou? Be still. Whom seek'st thou? Say me thy will. Deny me not with nay. For oh, my Lord, I look full ill. The stead thou bear his body till, tell me thee, I pray. And I shall, if I may, his body bear with me. Unto my ending day, the better I shall be. Woman, woman, turn thy thought. And wit thou well I hid him not, and bear him near with me. Go seek. Look thou if thou find him aught. If faith I have him sought, but ne'er he will found be. Why, what was he to thee in soothfastness to say? Ah, uh, he was so much to me. No longer live, I may. Mary, thou seek'st thy God, and that am I. Ravoni, my Lord, so dear, now am I whole that thou art here. Suffer me to nigh thee near and kiss thy feet. May I do so now and here, for thou art sweet. Nigh me not, my love, let be. For to my father tell I thee, yet ascend I not. Tell my brethren I shall be, before them all in trinity, whose will that I have wrought. To my disciples say thou so, but meanwhile all are wrapped in woe, that them succor I shall. By name Peter thou call, and say that I shall be, before him and them all, myself in Galilee. To Galilee now will I fare, and his disciples catch from care. What wondrous love is this? Oh. When I think on his passion, and on his mother, how she did swoon to die near a mighty boon. Such sorrow I saw her make under cross when she fell down for her son's sake. Were never man in no kind stead that suffered, had so great misdeed as he, to death before he sped, nor yet the care. His hurt is allus in my head. Where's the where I fare? Pilgrims, why mourn you so, I pray? Why wend your way so full of rue? Tell me, have you missed your way? Ah, I fain would know what ails you too. What way? For shame, man, it's thou wend that thou wot not of this affray. How could thou thus learn, little friend? Annoy me now no more, I pray. I pray, if it be your will, these words you would rehearse me till. Once thou wot what is come and gone these past few days, methinks thou should make moan. And weep there in thy ways. Why, what is done? Can ye me say in this land this ilka day? Is there fallen any affray in this land somewhere? If ye can me tell, I pray, before I further fare. Why, they have slain a man for naught. Jesus of Nazareth, full wise was he, but bishops, cursed may they be, damned him and nailed him to a tree that wrong never yet wrought. He shall rise up out of his pit. The holy prophets you tell so plain. So turn your thought and change your wit, and trust well that Christ doth live again. Live again? Man! Hold thy peace! How should a dead man ever rise? I counsel thee such words to cease, for fear of Pilate and his spies. It was slain at a greater size by council of lords all in a row. Take care thou say not dead men rise in every company where thou just go. Why be a slow to give you trust? Did not Christ raise through his own might Lazarus, that dead lay under dust and stink right foul as I you plight? To life Christ raised him from the pit again full right it is certain. Why cannot Christ himself thus quit and rise from death to live again? 
<laughs> now, Lord, give thee good grace, for greatly comforted me thou hast. Come with us into this place, for here a mayor's castle is. Now, truly, sir, your words be good. <laughs> I have in you right great delight. I pray you, sir, if that you would, to dwell with us all this night. I must go hence and on full right, for many messages I have to do. I would abide if that I might, but at this time I must in school. You shall not go from us this night. Wax is dark. Guns date, sun's down, lawns light. You shall not go from us away. This night you go not from us away, we shall you keep between us twain. <laughs> to us therefore you say not, nay. But walk we us in morn again. Since you keep me might in vain, we hearty will I shall abide. <laughs> of your abiding we be full fain. No man more welcome in this world wide. Now, uh, after your labour and far walking, take you this loaf and eat some bread. And then we shall have some more talking of Christ our master that is now dead. Be merry and glad we art full free. For if Christ Jesus you was your friend, you shall have tidings of game and glee within a while afore you end. This bread that I do bless and break, it is my course, no common crust. This beaker, blood, shed for thy sake, and sup of it, ilk man, you must. Wem! Oh, where is this man become that sat right here betwixt us two? He break the bread and laid us, son. How might he hence now from us go at his own list? It were our Lord, I trow, right so, and we not wish. Rise, go he hence from this place. To Jerusalem speed we apace. And tell our brethren all the case. Oh, and say it does. Our Lord, alive in flesh and face, appeared to us. Yea, here in this stead we may not stay. Lo, hard on our heels, draws night next play. Make haste, make haste. You'll be too late. One fish, my dear. I cannot wait. Some sprite it was that thou hast met, or it was not. We may trow on no kind wise that dead men to life can rise. This then is our thought. The sooth is, command me the Jews made Jesus grimly bleed through feet, hands, and side. With nails on rude they hung him long. Therefore, woman, thou sayest all wrong. The sooth is that he died. <laughs> Are ye alleging I tell ye your lies? That he that died on rude did arise? I with him speak, as I with you. Therefore ye both say I put away your heresy and trust my tale as true. But it is written in our law, there is no trust in women's saw, no true faith to believe. 
For with their quaintness and their guile, they can laugh and weep some while, yet nothing them grieve. In our book, there find me written, all manner of men well eat written of women on this wise. Like an apple doth she seem, all aglow with gladsome gleam, as there she lies. But if a man has say a bite, it is full rotten, rotten right to the core within. <laughs> Therefore in women is no law, she is without all awe, as Christ be loosed from sin. Peace and rest bide on thy brow. Ah, brothers dear, what may we trow? What was this light that we saw now, shining so bright, and vanished thus? We wot not how, out of our sight. Out of our sight now is it sought? It maketh us mad the light it brought. What may it be? Certes, I wot not. But certainly, it was but vanity in our thought. Not else trow I it be. Peace unto you evermore might be. Dread ye not, for I am he. In God's name, Benedicity. What may this mean? It was a sprite, for so thinks me, that we have seen. A sprite it is, that trow I write, that thus appeared here to our sight. It makes us mad of mean and might so scared are we. Yon same thing brought light that we did see. What thinks ye, madmen, in your thoughts? What mourning in your hearts is brought? I am Christ, so dread ye not. Here may ye see that same body that has ye bought upon a tree. For you these gates then have I gone. Come, feel me firmly now, Ilka one, and see that I am flesh and bone. Come, grope me now. For flesh is ghost or spirit, none that ye shall trow. To guy ye ken and know me clear, I shall ye show examples, see ye. Bring now forth unto me here some of your meat, if ye among your brethren dear have ought to eat. Thou loving Lord, that last shall eh? Lo, here is meat that eat ye may. A honeycomb, the sooth to say, and roast fish too. To eat thereof we hear thee pray, if thou canst do.
Now have I done. You have seen how, boldly eating among you now, henceforth, steadfastly in me trow. Such is my wish, and for you all is left enough of that fine fish. Brethren, be we stable now of thought. All one hope put we away. All misbelief set at naught, for we may safely say, he that mankind on rude hath brought from death rose the third day. We saw the wounds in him, but rose. All bloody yet were they. Death that is so keen, yea, so overcome us, as he told us. Yet may we mean from death how he should pass. All we apostles have him seen. Save only one. Thomas. Alas, for sight and sorrow sad. Morning makes me amazed and mad. On ground now may I gang on glad. Welcome, Thomas. Where hast thou been? Now will thy sorrow cease, I ween. Thomas, our Lord, we have him seen. Never shall I trow it true that Jesus did to ye appear. To my finger poke I through the holes of nail and spear. Thomas! Truly, our Lord is live, that fold the Jews his flesh to ride. He let us see his wounds all five. The wounds made by the spear and nails to feel and find they are yet wet. Then shall I trow in all your tales. <coughs> Till then, no more. Thomas, we saw his wounds all wet. How he was nailed to hands and feet. Honey and fish with us he ate. We shall see all of that. No more of it left for me. Methinks my hat was rank and bad. It makes you ghosts and sprites to see. Thomas, it is good we are certainly, fellas. Let be your fair. Till that I see his body bare and see my finger put in there within his hide and feel the wound the spear did shear right in his side. Uh, shall I try your tales, I ween? Thomas, those wounds have we all seen. Peace, brethren, and to you peace. Let this unseemly strife now cease. And Thomas, trow, as thou didst ne'er trow, nor trust me yet, thy finger put in my wounds wet. Yea, do it now. Ah! This is Jesu. Ruin me. My hand is bloody with thy blood. Mercy, Jesu, I pray thee, thy might that I not understood. Thomas, for thou hast seen this sight, that I am risen as I thee height. Therefore thou trows. But Ilka White, blessed be they ever, that trows all ye in my rising right, yet saw it never. Love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that was the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse? For my soul, for my soul, to bear the dreadful curse for my soul. My sprite shall even them inspire through the force of heavenly fire. When I was sinking down, sinking down, Sinking down when I was sinking down, sinking down when I was sinking down beneath God's righteous ground, Christ laid aside his crown for my soul, for my soul, Christ laid aside his crown. For my soul to God and to the
justice from the hound is pain. How these mobards mad are now. Their master that our men have slain has made them on his trifles trow. These lurdens say he lives again. That matter may they never avow, for as they heard his preaching plain, he was away, they wist not how. They wist not where he went, therefore shall they fully fail. And says them shall be sent great help through his counsel. They shall send neither Claude nor Claire. He never was but a wretch all way. For we'll send more men to make a shout, so shall we best these fools to play. Here, fellows, here. Come and take heed. No, here! A drunken fellowship sinner. Now, be that. I've read them with brawls till they bleed. And I'm going to meddle with it. And with it. Now, ma, we their meeting and put them to fine. These apostles are praying a well wet with wine. These doctors, me seems, are dribbling with drink. Hey, we make a mean of the maze, so do I think. Yeah! Yeah! Sirs, alas, what do you mean? Why scorn you now thus God's good grace? It is no thing as you do ween. There is no drunk man in this place where for right great is your trespass. Sirs, list what it doth signify. Fulfilled now is to man's solace all God's gracious prophecy. From all our foes, Christ should us fend, but thus embailed the hooves us by till the time is salve he send. The Jews be set on Ilka's side. You mean neither walk nor wend. Oh, fearfully now we do fear for missing of our master, Jesus. Our hearts may not their burdens bear. Those Jews do harm and hound us. Us to betray and us to beat the other about both night and day. For Jesus that we so seldom meet, as mazed men mourn we may. For oh, those Jews that followed their own faithless will and doomed our master to be dead, with main unmoved they would him spill. If there was how in town or stead, let us keep from all this carping keen and come but little in their sight. Our master will come when wheelies ween. He will have rule and read full right. Of this carping now no more. It draws nigh the time of day. At our meat I would we were. He'll send us succor as best may. Succor soon he will you send. If ye truly in him trow, your moan meekly, he will amend, my brethren dear. This may ye know. The promise that he me plight, he has fulfilled all that he said. Deceived he never, day or night. Therefore, dear brethren, have no dread. Peter. And ye. My darlings dear, as mazed men, why stand you there? Holy to you have I showed here to bring your hearts from care. Sent was I for your sake, from my father dear, flesh and blood to take of this maiden so clear. Since to me you sought and wholly followed me, of wonders I have wrought, some have I let you see. The blind is any stone, the dumb I yield where I come by. The dead I raised up from the tomb all through my might on eye. And other works and wonders seer I wrought wisely before you all. My pain, my passion, I told you clear, holy throughout as it should fall. My rising on third day, as ye by tokens many one have seen. Your trust had truly been away, had not my blessed mother been. In her it rested all this tide. Your deeds you greatly ought to shame. Here may you see my wounds all wide, how that I bought you out of blame. But John, think when I hung on rude, that I be chuck thee merry mild, keep her still with stable mood. She is thy mother, thou her child. Look thou love her and be her friend, and dwell with her in well and woe. 
For to my father now I wend. There none of you ask whither I go. Lord, if it be thy will, show us thy father we thee pray. We have been with thee in good and ill and saw him never, night or day. Philip, that man that may see me, he sees my father full of might. Trow thou not he dwells in me, and I in him, if thou trows right. In his house ye all shall dwell. And thither now I wend away. So ilka one here fare ye well. My brethren, my mother, have all good day. Vita via veritas primus et novissimus. Father of heaven, with good intent, I pray thee hear me specially. From heaven to earth thou me sent, thy name to preach and clarify. Thy will have I done, all and some. On earth will I no longer be. Up in the clouds. For now I come in joy and bliss to dwell with thee. Prices are down in the Big Shop sale. This hot point washing machine saved 40 pounds. There's lots more bargains in the Big Shop sale at your electricity board now. There they go, Toby and Michael, off on another adventure. That's Toby. He's a pal dog. Toby's so active and full of life. That's because pal is prime and juicy with delicious jelly. And pal's the one with the extra vitality of nourishing marabou. He seems to stay so keen and alert. Yes, he's a pal dog, all right. <laughs> and he keeps Michael on the go from dawn till dusk. Pal with Marabone for active life. Do you want to make home maintenance and improvements really easy? A weekly publication, Fix It, guides you through jobs quickly and easily. In issue one, replacing a broken tile without breaking others, how one tool makes electricity safer to work with and how to save money. Well, 23 pounds is our minimum call-out job. Fix-It shows you how to stop a dripping tap without even buying a washer, how to plan jobs, what to do when things go wrong, and how to put them right. Get Fix-It and make it easy to maintain your home and its value. Gold Seal Alkaline Long Life Batteries. Nothing outlasts Gold Seal. My next guest is familiar to us all. Will you please welcome the cat on everyone's mouth, 
Thompson. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now then, tell us, Thompson, how can a cat write a successful book like this? Well, I'm your local cat, Russell, and that's how I know every inch of the local area. Postcodes, shops, businesses, services. You see, in my book, nothing is more than a whisker away. Ah. So for the local answer, ask Thompson. Russell, you read me like a book. <laughs> conditioner is fast acting, so you can rinse it off without waiting. For a conditioner you can use as often as you like, use Super Soft once. Easy, eh? Once use it every day, once keep my hair this way, once Super Soft once! Once, the fast acting conditioner. Oh, no! <laughs> Help! Uh-oh! Don't give up. Hand knits don't need to look homemade. Now there's Get Knitting from Marshall Cavendish. Twelve original patterns in each issue, with a book that helps you get the best results. Joining yarn so you can't see the join, checking wool won't run out, and getting out of trouble if you do go wrong. So now, everyone can enjoy knitting. Butch. Stylish. Daring, cuddly, fun, warm, stretchy, oh, sexy. And everyone can enjoy the results. Get knitting your own knitwear collection in 26 fortnightly packs. Now yonder is, behold, now are you praying. A cloud has borne my bairn to bliss. My blessing bear he night and day. But son, think on thy mother, dear, that thou hast left amongst thy foes. <laughs> Sweet son, let me not dwell here. Let me go with thee where thou goes. Almighty God, how might this be a cloud has borne my bairn to bliss? But that I know where he now is, my heart would break. Well, what I this? His ascending up to bliss on high is the source of all my joy. My blessing bear now on you nigh. And fend me, son, from foes annoy. My flesh, it quakes like leaf on tree to shake off showers sharper than thorn. John, if thou be kind, I pray, help me. My son missing makes me to mourn. Mary, God's mother so mild, hail, be the root of all rest, hail, be the royal, hail, flower and fruit never faded nor filed, hail, salve to all sinful, now say thee I shall. Thy son to thyself, me has sent with this sign. And soothly he says, no longer than these three days are left thee this life that is lent. 
and therefore he bids thee look that thou blithe be, for to that bigly bliss thy boy will thee bring there to sit with himself all solace to see and to be crowned his queen and he himself king in mirth that ever shall be new he sends thee worthily i wish this palm out of paradise in tokening that it shall be true For all his signs, seer, I thank seemly my son. Unto him lastingly be a loving. Such worship and worthiness me to have won. And to his bigly bliss my bones for to bring. But good sir, Announce me your name. Gabriel, that before did bring board word of his bearing. Forsooth, lady, I am the same. No, Gabriel, that soothly is from my son sent. I thank thee these tidings thou tells me until. And love be that Lord for the loan me has lent. And, dear son, I beseech thee, great God, thou grant me thy grace, thine apostles to have in this place, that they at my burying shall be. Now, fairest of face, most faithful and free, thine asking thy son has grant of his grace, and says, all same in sight ye shall see, all his apostles appear in this place to work all thy will at thy wending. Uh, 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 and soon shall thy pain be past, and thou to be in life that shall last evermore without any ending. Mary, my mother, that mild is in me, <coughs> and chief of all chasteness, now tell me what cheer. John, so I ween I am woefully weak. My sweet son, a sign have I had. An angel was here, and doubtless he says I shall die. Within three days, I wis, I shall abide in bliss and come to his own company. I by thy leave, lady, announce me it naught. And tell me no tidings that twin us in two. For be thou blessed bird to thy beer brought. Evermore while I wend in this world will I bewail you. Therefore let it stand and be still. Nay, John, son, myself now I see. At God's will must it need be. Therefore be it wrought at his will. He brought me this palm from my son up there, which I beseech, as the angel me bade, that before my beer thou shall it bear, saying my dirge devoutly and sad. John, son of the Jews, have I heard it tell how with foul plotting full fiendish and fell, when my soul is passed up to music and mirth, would they burn this body, it consume and quell? For of this flesh, Jesu, whom they slew, had his birth. Therefore, I beseech you, John, pray mark me well. Help I be buried and laid low in the earth. O oh, worthy, when thou art went, will me be full of woe. But God give the apostles wist of thy wending. Oh, God! Omnipotent, the giver of grace, Benedicti Dominus, a cloud now full clear, unbelap me in Judea as I preached in that place. And I have mickle marvel how that I came here. Ah, cease, for this assembling can I not say how and in what wise we are here met. For suddenly in sight, here soon was I set, either mirth or a morning, mean well it may. 
Diverse countries we preached to their son and his bliss. Diverse clouds each of us were suddenly covering. We and one were brought to you here now, I wish. Because why no man could tell of our coming. Fellas, me mother shall wend now, I ween. Unto that bigly bliss that I bear and has us bought. That we in her sight all same might be seen. As she dissever us fro, her son she besought. And thus as he wrought at her will. When she should be brought on her bier, that we should be nighing her near, this time for to tender until. for woe thus one to weep. <laughs> you do me ding with your din, for me needs must die. You should, when you saw me so slip off to sleep, left off your lowing and let me lie. <laughs> Johnson, gar them stop and be still. Ah, uh, uh, that this pain were over past. With good heart, ye he all that are here, Pray for me faithfully, my friends so dear, or I must wend from you full fast. Jesus, you my blessed bairn, if thy will be, I sadly beseech thee, my son, for my sake. Men that are stead stiffly in storms or at sea, and are in will wisely my worship to wake, and then name me by name in that need. Thou let them not perish, nor spill. Of this boon, my son, at thy will, thou grant me specially to speed. Also, my blessed bairn, thou grant me my boon. All that are in noy or in need, and names me by name. I pray thee, son, for my sake, thou succor them soon. In all their showers that are sharp, thou shield them from shame. And women also, in their childing, now special thou them speed. And if so be they die in that deed, to thy bliss to abide, them thou bring. Mary, my mother, come mildly to me. After thee soon, my servants will I send, and to sit with myself all solace to see, in I lasting life any liking to lend. I thank thee, my sweet son. I am woefully weak. I may not now move me for mercy almost to thee, son mine that made me, thy maiden so meek. Here, through thy grace, God's son, I give thee my ghost.
Now, holy brother Peter, I heartily you pray to bear this holy palm before this glorious body, for ye be prince of apostles and head of our faith. Therefore, it seemeth you best to do this office truly. I, Peter, with our brethren dear, this blessed body shall help to the ground. This holy course now take we up here, sadly saying her dirge with devout sound. Mine angels, lovely of light, lighter than the leaven, into the earth whitely I will that ye wend, and to bring me my mother to the highest of heaven, with mirth and with melody, her mood for to mend. To bless that bird for to bring, let us all now whitely be wending, this maiden's mirth to be mending, a seemly song let us sing. Never hear such a noise I now wish. Can you all say what it signifies? I'm a hound than most of my sis. I wot not what they be, but usually they cry. I am afraid there be me something amiss. Therefore, it is good that privily amongst us we spy. No, I have lived this three score year, but such noise I ne'er heard the like was of this. My heart gives a shudder and quake, all for fear. There is some new sorrow springing, I wish. Yeah, that there is, soothly. <laughs> I say unto you, the prophet's mother, Mary, is dead. And the apostles are burying, pass here us through, and make all this mirth, though we spit on their head. Ah, now that the caitive queen is dead, ye rabble in row right rehearsed, fast all that's a bid ye be speedily sped, and carry me back here, that horse so accursed. To ask all these harlots, me is full leaf. I shall snare them snibblers with that sharp showers. Heads in the devil's name, and take me that thief. And bring me that beggar's body here at these towers. And the disciples you slay. Hi, hence all at once, now I say, or the devil's boys might break your bones. Go stone me that body with your stones. Out, harrow, from a hound. Wend on your way. Ah, what the devil does this mean? I see right now, though I am blind, my wits have wandered all to my weed. I am full war and maze in mine. I fear by my faith and fain would I flee. The devil him speed that hear me brought. I wrong my life. Ah, woe is me. Madam, I in mood and thought. Ah, some cage of a can't see has cracked up on me crown. Oh, <laughs> me manhood is marred. Oh, mighty mound. Some shadowy shape bright sharp as me shins. My body, once buxom, is broken and bent. <laughs> Cowards! A bunny now. Fry, are you fear of a dead body? To that being our boldly bound eye, all that company fear I write not. Cannot help me. Yeah. Ha! How? Oh! Alas, my body is full of pain. I am fastened sore of this beer. Broken both me hands are twain. Oh, Peter, play thy God for me here. Then honor this body that we now bear. 
Mm. Oh, mercy God, and grand mercy of his salvation. In Jesu and his mother will I believe her. Take thou this holy palm and go to thy nation. Bid them believe in God if they will be pure. Go now, I bid thee, the length of the land and touch all the folk on head and on hand and of their sickness shall they have cure. All ye folk that languish in great infirmity, believe in Christ Jesu and ye shall have health by virtue of this holy palm what comes from Trinity. Your sickness shall assuage and restore your wealth. Now, holy brethren, this body let us take, and with all the worship we may, lay it in the grave, touching it all at once for our son's sake. Now honor this casket laid low in the cave. Jesu, Lord and Heaven's King, here is thy mother, thou after sent. We have her brought at thy bidding. Take her to thee as thou hast meant. Jesu, my son, loved might thou be. I thank thee heartily in my thought that all this was ordained for me, and to this bliss thou hast me brought. Hail be thou, Mary, maiden bright. The time is past of all thy care. Worship thee shall angels bright, and noise shall thou know never more.
son, loved might thou be. I thank thee heartily in my thought, that all this was ordained for me, and to this bliss thou hast me brought. Come forth with me, my mother bright, into my bliss we shall ascend, as one in wealth thou worthy wight, and never more shall it have end. Thou art my life and my liking, my mother and maiden she. Take this crown, my dear darling. <laughs> Where I am king, thou shalt be queen. <laughs> and angels bright, a song ye sing, in worship of my mother dear. And ye shall have my blessing, holy now and here. This world had wrought wood and wind and what has won, and all kind of thing that now is aught. Full well me thought that I did then, when they were made good, me them thought. Then to my likeness made I man, to sadden me man straightway sought. Therefore me rules that I the world began. When I had made man at my will, I gave him wit himself to wis, and paradise I put him till, and bade him hold it all as is. But of the tree of good and ill I said, what time thou eats of this, man, thou speeds thyself to spill, thou art broke out of all thy bliss. Forthwith did man flout my forbidding, he would have been a god thereby. He would have knowledge of all known thing. In world to have been as wise as I. He ate the apple. I bed should hang. He was beguiled by glutton's greed. Then him and all seed from him sprang. To pain I put for that dire deed. Then long and late me thought it good to catch those caitiffs out of care. I sent my son, with full blithe mood, to earth to salve them of their sore. For ruth of them he rest on rude, and bowed them with his body bare. For them he shed his true heart's blood. What kindness can I do them more? Then afterwards he harried hell, and took those wretches that were therein. There fought that free with fiends full fell, for them there that were sunk in sin. And then on earth he did go dwell, example he gave them heaven to win. In temple himself to teach and tell, to buy them bliss that may never blim. Thus have they found me full of mercy, full of grace and forgiveness. And they as wretched utterly have lived their lives with lickerness. Oft have they grieved me grievously. Thus have they quit me my kindness. Therefore, no longer so say I, so will I man's wickedness. Men see the world but vanity, yet will no man beware thereby. Each day their mirror they will see, yet think they not that they will dee. All that I ever said should be is now fulfilled by prophecy. Therefore is it time for me to make an end of man's folly. <laughs> I have sold mankind many a year in love and liking for to lend, yet scarcely find I far or near a man who will his mood amend. On earth I see sin everywhere. 
Therefore, mine angels will I send to blow their brass that all may hear. The time is come to make an end. Angels, will I blow your brass. Ilka creature for to call, Clark and Claude, both man and wife, receive their doom this day they shall. Each lad and lass that e'er had life be none forgotten, great or small. There shall they see the wounds full five that my son suffered for them all. And sunder them before my sight, all same in bliss shall they not be. My blessed bairns that I have height, on my right hand I shall them see. Then shall Ilka wicked white, on my left side for feardness, flee. This day their doom, thus I have died to Ilka man, as he served me. Love be thou, Lord of might the most, that angels made for messenger, thy will shall be fulfilled in haste, that heaven, earth, and hell shall hear good and ill, each and every ghost, fetch the flesh, death, rent, and rise. For all this world is brought to waste. Draw to your doom, now near it nigh. For I am sent from heaven's king to call you to this great assize. Therefore, rise up and give reckoning how ye him served in various wise. <laughs> Song be well away, for thus we sinned with such trespass. Ooh. Alas, I heard that arm that calls us to doom. All that were ever born, thither behooves them to come. <laughs> May neither land nor sea us from this doom hide. For fear pain would I flee, but I must needs abide. Alas, I am forlorn. A spiteful blast here blows. I heard well by yon horn. I wot where to it draws. I never trowed this dreadful day would come to make us thus to mourn. Alas, alas, what shall we say when he sits on his throne? Oh, oh love thee, thou lord, that is so sheen that on this manner made us rise, body and soul together clean, to come before the higher size. Of our ill deeds, Lord, tack no heed, that we have wrought on wicked wise. But grant us, through thy grace indeed, that we may dwell in paradise. Oh, love be thou, Lord of all, that heaven and earth and all is wrought that with thine angels would us call out of our graves, is it to be brought? Oft have we grieved thee, great and small, but for that, Lord, damn us not, nor suffer us never to fiends to be thrall, that oft on earth with sin are sore. Alas, alas, that we were born! So may we sinful caitiffs say, I hear well by that hideous horn, it draws full near to our doomsday, alas. We caitiffs that are forlorn, that never move to God to pray. <laughs> alas, we have his flesh for us one. Alas, alas, we're well away. What shall we wretches do for dread, and with her for feardness shall we flee? We may not bring forth one good deed before him that our judge shall be. To ask for help us has no need, for well I wot that damned are we. Alas, that we such life should lead, that dight us has this destiny. As careworn caitiffs may be right, so may we wring our hands and weep for woefulness and wicked lies, damned are we to hell full deep. Wrought we, never a God's service. His commandments would we never keep. Yet oft made we sacrifice to Satan, whilst all others sleep. Stand not together. Part you in two. 
All same, ye shall not be in bliss. My Father in heaven has willed it so, for many of you have wrought amiss. The good on his right hand shall ye go. The way to heaven he will you wish. Ye wicked whites, ye flee him fro on his left hand as none of his. <laughs> is brought to end. My Father of Heaven, he will it be. Therefore to earth now will I wend, myself to sit in majesty. To deem my dooms I will descend, this body will I bear with me. How it was dight man's Mr. Mend, all mankind there shall it see. Peter, who by me bided ever near, the dreadful doom this day is dight. Both heaven and earth and hell shall hear how I shall hold what I have height, and thou shalt sit beside me here, beside myself to see this sight, and put a doom folk far and near, after their working, wrong or right. I love thee, Lord God Almighty, late and early, loud and still. To do thy bidding, vain am I. I oblige me to do thy will with all my might, as is worthy. Belive, belive. 
Driver make your way one and all before his throne. Be live, be live, come is the day to make you glad or make you groan. Be live, be live and make your way. Why do ye all still linger here? Come is the day of wealth and woe. Go thither now, you're doomed to hear. Be live, be live, why do you stay when doomsday's horn doth ye now call? Come at last this judgment day. Go as a bad ye, one and all. <laughs> Array us for to fight. And though we fast our feet are fang, the dreadful doom this day is died. I dread me that we stay too long. We shall be seen ever in their sight, and warily wait, else work we wrong. For if yon doomsman do us right, full great a party with us shall gang. He shall do right, my foe and friend. For now shall all the sooth be sought. All wicked whites with us shall wend. The endless pain they shall be brought. <laughs> Ilka creature, now tack tent, what board word do you I bring? This woeful world is brought to end. And I am come as crowned king. My father of heaven, he me sent to deem your deeds and make ending. Come is the day of judgment, for sorrow shall all the sinful sing. The day is come of caitiffness. All them to care that are unclean. The day of bale and bitterness, full long abiding as it be. The day of dread to more and less. Of ire and trembling and of teen. That ilka white that wicked is may say, Alas, this day is seen. Here may you see my wounds all wide. The which I thold for your misdeed, through heart and head, foot, hand and hide, not for my guilt, but for your need. Behold both body, back and side, so as I flayed that you be freed. These bitter pains I would abide to buy you bliss, thus would I bleed. My body was scourged with scathe and with skill. As a thief full roughly I was threat. On cross they hanged me on a hill, bloody and blue as I was bet, with crown of thorns thrust in full ill. The spear into my side was set. My heart blood spared they not but a spill. Man, for thy love I would not let. Thus was I dight, thy sorrow to slake. Man thus behooved thee bought to be. For torment, no vengeance did I take. My will it was for love of thee. Man, sore ought thee for to quake. This dreadful day, this sight to see. For this I suffered for thy sake. Say, man, what suffered thou for me? My blessed bairns on my right hand. You doom this day, you need not dread. For all your comfort is command. Your life in liking ye shall lead in this kingdom, this I last in land, that to you is due for your good deed. Full blithe may ye be where ye stand, for mickle in heaven shall be your need. 
When I was hungry, ye me fed. To slake my thirst, your hearts were free. When I was clothless, ye me clad. You would no sorrow upon me see. In hard prison, when I was stead, of my pains ye had pity. Full sick, when I was brought to bed, kindly ye came to comfort me. When I was weak and weariest, ye harboured me full heartfully. Full glad then were ye of your guest, and plained my poverty piteously. Belive ye bought me of the best, and made my bed full easily. Therefore in heaven shall be your rest, in joy and bliss to be me by. Lord, when hadst thou so mickle need, hungry or thirsty, how might it be? When in our hearts did we leave thee? In prison, when did we thee see? When was thou sick, or wanted we? Thou for thee, when else did we? When had thou need of our good deed? When did we all these deeds to thee? My blessed bairns, I shall ye say what time these deeds to me were done. When any that need had night or day, asked your help and had it soon. Your free hearts never said them nay, early or late, midday or noon. But as often as they did but pray, them need but bid to have their boon. Ye cursed caitiffs of Cain's kin, <laughs> that never be comforted in my care. Now I and thee forever shall twin, in dole to dwell forevermore. Your bitter bale shall never blin. That shall ye have when ye come there. Thus are ye served for your sore sin. For dire deeds you have done ere. When most need of meat and drink had I. Caitiffs, ye catched me from your gate. When ye were set as sirs on high. And I outside stood worn and wet. Ye never brought me into dry. Pity to have on my poor state. Therefore in hell ye all shall hie, full worthy are ye of that fate. When I was sick and sorriest, ye visited me not, for I was poor. In prison fast when I was fast, then none of you looked how I fall. When I wist never where to rest, where didn't ye drove me from your door? But ever to pride then were ye pressed, my flesh, my blood, oft ye forswore. Cothless I was oft and cold. Nearby to you did I bide, naked. House nor harbour, help nor hold, had I none of you, although I quaked. My mischance saw ye manifold, but none of you my sorrows slaked, but ever forsook me, young or old. Therefore shall ye now be forsaked. Lord, when hast thou that all thing has, hunger and thirst since thou God is. Uh, when was it thou in prison was? When was thou naked or harbourless? When was it we saw thee sick and last? When did we this unkindness? When was it we let thee help us pass? When did we thee this wickedness? When my bairns, boons of ye bid, and needful asked aught in my name, ye heard them not, your ears ye hid. No comfort from you caitiffs came, therefore fiends and fire ye fair amid, therefore ye bear this bitter blame. When to the least of mine ye aught did, to me ye did, the self and same. My chosen childer, come to me. With me to dwell now shall ye wend. Their joy and bliss shall ever be. Your life in liking ye shall lend. Ye cursed caitiffs from me flee. In hell to dwell without an end. There ye shall ne'er but sorrow see. And sit by Satan, the foul fiend. <coughs> Ah! 
I find ill written on thy forehead. Thou wast so stout and set in pride, thou wouldst not give a poor man bread. Ah! But from thy door thou wouldst him shine. Ah! On thy face now do I read that if a thirsty man come in his eyes, for thirst though he should be nigh dead, drink from him was thou ever high. All covetousness was all thy thought. <laughs> you wrath thy neighbours to that fight, then for to anger was thy delight. <laughs> thou art ever ready then to indict! Sick <laughs> <laughs> man, ruest thou not? <laughs> Evermore on envy was all thy mind. Thou wouldst never visit no prisoner. <laughs> to all thy neighbours thou wast unkind. And thou wouldst never help a man in danger. The sin of sloth thy soul shall shend. Mass no matins would thou not read. To bury the dead man thou wouldst not when, therefore thou shalt to endless fire. To sloth thou wert full prey. Ah, this rejoice in gluttony, in drunkenness and rivalry. <laughs> but now the fires of hell draw nigh, and thou shalt know no rest. <laughs> and thou, slut, <laughs> shalt thy ruin rue. Thy life was one lecherous lane. To oh. <laughs> all thy neighbours thou wert a shrew. Oh. All thy pleasure were lecherous play. Even now a drop of dew shall quench thy everlasting thirst. But sirs, are you all tell? If doomsday had come much later, we'd have had to build our hell grimmer, grander, greater. <laughs> But they that mended are their miss shall abide with me in endless bliss. This I need, this I need, and I need fire and fleet and candle need, and Christ tuck up thy soul.